Samsung Galaxy Note 8 that came to India last month and saw over 2,50,000 registrations within no time is selling like hotcakes and has left Apple iPhone 8 and 8 Plus behind in the race at the moment, industry sources said on Wednesday. According to dealers, Galaxy Note 8 sales are ahead when compared to iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. For every 100 Galaxy Note 8 being purchased, 60 to 70 iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus are being sold. A South Delhi-based dealer told IANS on the condition of anonymity. According to Tarun Pathak, Associate Director Mobile Devices and Ecosystems, Counterpoint Research, the fight between Note 8 and iPhone 8 is finally going to be pretty close. We are looking at a neck-to-neck -neck fight. What changes iPhone 10 will make to the scenario is yet to be seen, but at the moment, Note 8 is doing good in India and Apple users are waiting for iPhone 10 to arrive. Indian smartphone users have reiterated that lack of innovation coupled with high prices of iPhone devices stopped them from buying iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. The iPhone 8 64GB costs Rs 64,000 while the 256GB variant will be available for Rs 77,000. The iPhone 8 Plus starts at Rs 73,000 for 64GB while the 256GB variant will cost Indian users Rs 86,000. The iPhone 10, which marks the 10th anniversary of the device, will be launched in India on November 3rd and cost the users Rs 89,064GB and Rs 1.02 lakh for 256GB. IAN has found that people who converged at several Apple reseller stores in the Delhi NCR region after the new Apple flagships were made available in the country on September September 29th were put off by no or less innovation. Meanwhile, Samsung India, in consolidating its leadership in India with its market share in terms of value, rising from 43% in July to 46% in August, according to the latest report from the market research firm GFK. When it comes to the premium segment in India, Samsung already rules the market with over 60% share in India. In the January-June quarter of 2017, Apple sold 3,428 units of iPhone 7 and 2,6292 units of iPhone 7 Plus. However, Samsung surged ahead and sold 1,22,000 units of S8 and 1,40,000 S8 Plus, which were launched in India only in April this year, according to the recent data provided by Cyber Media Research. According to Asim Varsi, Senior Vice President Mobile Business Samsung India, the company is looking to beat industry growth rate of 25 to 30 percent in the ongoing festive season. The company expects to post record sales this year on the back of its strong performance in the smartphone business. Samsung makes all its smartphones at its Noida factory. It recently invested around Rs 5,000 crore in the Noida factory to double capacity.